What's going on everyone? Check me out here and I am back with some more tweaks for you for iOS 9.3.3. So if you're excited for today's video, go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button down below. Now I've seen your comments in the comments section on videos as well as Twitter to please, please make a top jailbreak video. So I'm happy today to be doing exactly that. So the whole delay was just me getting my phone jailbroken. I'm finally jailbroken. I've been in city here trying out some tweaks. So I have 10 tweaks today for you that you should definitely check out. Now kicking the list off is transparent camera bar. So what it does is within the camera application here, it gives you a transparent bottom bar and top bar. So no longer do you have have that black border in either area it makes it a bit more transparent so you can see more of your picture that you're actually going to be taking now you do have some settings that you can configure for this tweak such as turning the tweak on or off you can also adjust the opacity so if you want the bar to be less visible you're just going to slide this to the left and if you want the bar to be more visible then you can just slide it to the right so you can adjust the top bar and the bottom bar separately and you can turn the tweak off or on for either section of your phone as well now moving on to tweak number two this is for anyone that wish they had an S7 Edge type feature on their iPhone and it's called Edge. So what it does is when you pull in from the right hand side here, it pulls up an edge, pretty much very similar to the feature of the S7 Edge. So within here, you can see a couple of things like the apps that you've opened recently. You can also swipe again and add in your favorite apps. That way you can always have quick access to these particular applications that you add. And then if you swipe once more, you're then taken to your task edge. So this is where you have all of these different actions that you can do, such as quickly take a selfie or quickly search the app store. You can also swipe one more time and then see your people edge. So this is where you can add in shortcuts to your favorite contacts or people you want quick access to to contact. Now you do have some settings you can configure for this one, such as turning it off or on, which is vital for me. You can also come into configuration and adjust the order of your pages. So maybe you want your people's page to be the first one instead of the last one. You can just drag that up and it will be the first one instead of the last one. You can also reset the pages or change your activation areas so when I tap here you'll see that mine is currently set towards the middle of my screen but if I wanted I could use this here to adjust to make it be at the bottom of my screen to activate it or at the top of my screen to activate it I can also use this slider here to adjust the size of it so maybe I don't want it to be that small portion of my screen and I'd rather have it pretty much the entire right side of my screen I can use that to do so and then when you're finished you can just save activation area and you're done now this next tweak is something very subtle there are no options to configure once you install it you're good to go and it's called dark folders so if I tap on this folder icon here you'll see that this has now a background that is dark so it's not your typical light background that you normally see within your folder view and that's all this tweak does for tweak number four I have OXO legacy edition and I am loving this one here because it really simplifies your control center and gives you what you need when you need it so I can have my quick toggles here and airdrop and airplay but I'm not just limited to only seeing that I now have pages in here much like you do with iOS 10 so that you can then get to your music controls or you can swipe again and get to your multitask switch and that's pretty much it but I like it because like I said it keeps everything minimal and compact normally control center takes up about half of your screen but now you can keep it nice and compact and access what you need when you need it now you do have some settings here as well that you can configure such as your app switcher options you can also adjust the auxiliary pages and the way they appear and operate and then you also have some advanced options so you can really adjust quite a few things about how OXO is gonna work for you so that you can customize it to fit more of your style and I'm sure all of you you have noticed my status bar and I got a couple of things going on up here and the first thing that I have going on is in this top left corner and that is the current weather that was achieved with status bar weather 8 so it gives me not only an icon to show me the weather conditions but also the temperature that it is outside now if you move over here to the right hand side I got a smiley face next to my battery bar that is known as smile battery and what happens is the smiley face changes based upon the percentage of my battery so when the battery is full you got a smiley face and then you get all these other different facial emotions emojis as your battery continues to drain so it changes based upon your battery status now you do have some options within your settings for status bar weather so those options are to be able to turn the tweak on or off you can also adjust how often it refreshes the weather conditions and temperature you can choose if you want to even have it show the temperature unit or the weather icon and you can also select to make 
make it replace the carrier logo. By default, it normally appears where your clock is, but in my case, I just chose for it to replace normally where my carrier information would go. Now coming in at number seven, this is one of my favorite, all time favorite tweaks, and it is called Preference Organizer 2. So I've shown you this in my past videos, and because it does work with iOS 9.3.3, I want to show it to you again today, especially for those of you that may have never seen it. But ultimately down here at the bottom of my settings, as you can see, it is very clean and organized. So pretty much what you get are folders. You get, you get folders for all the things that would normally be just one ridiculously long list down there. So I have a folder for my system apps. I also have a folder for my social networking apps, but most importantly, I have a folder for my tweaks. So all the tweaks that would normally appear within your settings are here. Now, the nice thing about this tweak is that it puts these folders here automatically. So you don't have to create them, just install the tweak and it does all the work. It groups all of these things for you here without having you manually select what needs to go where. Now coming in next, I have status vial two. This is another one of my favorites. What this does, it gets rid of the volume HUD. So as you can see, as I'm hitting my volume button over here, it gives me my current volume level up here at the top of my screen. So no longer do I have that obtrusive HUD that sits in the middle of whatever you're looking at. I now have a very clean and minimal way to see what my current volume is. Now this also comes with some settings. It's not a lot, but it's enough. You have the option to adjust the theme. So currently I have circles as my theme, but you can make it squares instead so that as I adjust my volume, you'll see that I have squares up there to indicate my volume level instead of circles. You can also have it hide the icon. So no longer will it indicate what type of volume you're adjusting. So in my case right now, when I turn it off, it shows me a phone, which means I'm adjusting my ringer. So that's what it's hiding, the phone icon. You can also invert your colors. So right now mine's is white, but if I didn't want it to be like that, I can turn that on and it will be black. So it's gonna invert them. But I like using the dynamic colors option because with this one, it makes the background of the volume HUD there actually change based upon the app that you're in. So if the top of the app is white, it's gonna be white. But if I go to another area where the screen then becomes a bit dark at the top, once I hit the volume button, it then makes the background dark or black. So that's the setting that I currently use for that. And while we're still on the topic of volume, I have another tweak for you called unlock Val. Tell Now I can't tell you how many times that I have gone to my lock screen and actually tried to adjust the volume like this and it would not do it because you have to actually unlock your phone to adjust the volume. But with this tweak, just as you saw there, I can actually adjust the volume of my phone with it still being locked. So you don't have to unlock your phone to adjust something as simple as the volume anymore. This is something that's one of those small things, but it makes a huge difference, especially when all you wanna do is adjust your volume. You don't have to unlock your phone anymore to do so. I'm sure all of you have noticed my lock screen and this is done with many times. So I was able to reduce the size of my clock as well as the date and the time with many time. So it pretty much gives you a very nice little minimal view of that information on your lock screen instead of enlarging it as it normally does. Now you do have some settings for many time where you can turn it on or off. You can also adjust the style of the time and you can hide certain elements on your lock screen such as the top grabber, the camera grabber. You can also make it display seconds and to make those changes apply, you just respring. But yeah, that pretty much sums up the 10 tweaks that I have for you today. Now, of course, I'm gonna be showing more tweaks to all of you. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, then you can go ahead and do so now. That way you can know when those videos drop. If you're curious about my theme and my wallpaper, it's gonna be linked down below in the description box. But ultimately, the theme that I am running is called Lotus. But yeah, I wanna say that's all I can think of right now. If I think of anything else that I forgot to mention in the video, I'll probably will put it in the comments section and the description box. If you're curious about my social media accounts, they're gonna be down below in the description box. I do tend to update everyone via Twitter and Snapchat when a video is about to drop. So you can stay tuned up there to find out when my next one's coming. But yeah, as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.